Six factors that determine future development of economies and labor markets in Asia. Number one, demographic trends and challenges. Asian economies have witnessed a favorable demographic development characterized by falling child dependency, a growing working age population, and a moderate rise in old age dependency. The transition to an older population will deprive the region of this main driver of its economic success. Coping mechanisms for this transition should include support for immigration and for the participation of older people and women in the labor force. Number two, migration. In the poorest countries of Asia, emigration still predominates. For these countries, remittances remain a considerable part of GDP. However, fluxes of emigration and remittances can change quickly. China, South Korea, Thailand, Malaysia, and Sri Lanka will need immigrants to maintain favorable dependency rates and economic growth. While countries in South Asia, as well as Indonesia and Laos, can afford emigration, labor shortages in the region can only be avoided if Asian countries improve their collaboration for an orderly migration regime.
Number five, social development, education, and health. Major increases in literacy and secondary education attendance are common characteristics of Asian countries with high or medium growth rates and good labor market outcomes. In countries which lag behind in achieving full literacy and secondary education attendance, growth and productive employment will remain constrained. Number six, income and wealth inequalities. Income inequality in most of the Asian countries has increased or remained stable. Most notable is the increase in India and China. A strong contributing factor for this is the declining wage share, indicating that capital owners capture productivity gains to a larger degree than workers. With growing inequality, the economic growth of the past is not sustainable. High inequality and faltering growth will lead to social unrest and to deteriorating labor markets, undoing for some countries the gains achieved.